Something that's kept me so interested in skin for so long is that everybody's skin has this different way of talking to me, and it's all kind of saying the same thing. And um, I'm going to tell you what those things are. So something to notice is what started happening in the 1930s, which is on the left, is actually, actually the same thing that's happening today. There's been no progression in what's happening. Um, in the 1930s, it was all about chemical peels and um, putting acid on the skin. And so here, this is also the exact same thing. We have no progression. Um, everything that was happening in Egyptian times is essentially the same thing that's happening in high-end European natural skincare. And this is where we're going. Um, there's actually an understanding that's much deeper than both of those other two stepping stones. And it's about understanding the layers of the skin and the dynamics between those layers. And that's the exciting part because we can actually do something that, oops, I should have warned you guys, I was going to. Okay, this is what's happening and what a medical doctor was brave enough to actually publish was his research that makes this a fact. Every time our skin endures a trauma, it actually ages us faster. So our anti-aging procedures, oh, that didn't quite come. thick layer of our skin is what thins as we age. And when we traumatize it through these procedures, it's actually thinning faster. So what if we could get the skin to repair and make new skin cells by using nutrients instead of trauma? And this is actually available. And it works a lot better because we don't have to go backwards to go forward. So this is what we know for sure. And this is where it gets really exciting because we really are understanding more about how the skin heals. And I've been able to isolate it into four basic things. The first thing, and what's true with our bodies, is that we need to get the blood moving. We've got to increase circulation, and this is the key, but without adding inflammation, because remember, that ages us faster. So it's about getting the oxygen moving in a really great way. The second thing that our skin craves is water, and that's no surprise, our body's craving that as well. And there, there's no substitution for water. You guys might <laughs> have realized that. Um, and there's a lot of hype in the media with skin about water. And um, it's a good aim. The other thing that our skin wants is protection. And protection from the sun, um, but also just protection from ourselves. The traumatic procedures that I described earlier um, is actually what our skin is asking us to be protected from. And this is the final thing. The way toxins leave our body is really important. We got two things, two choices. Either the toxins have to be absorbed and neutralized uh, or just simply taken out. And the skin can't heal if there's not a, an exit. And it's also important to remember that the skin is an eliminative organ which means <laughs> there's all sorts of stuff that gets caught in there. And no amount of chemical peels or lasering actually removes what gets stored in the skin. And what I've also noticed is in working with these toxins in the skin is long before the precursors for sun cancer began, there's actually something happening underneath the skin. <laughs> and it has a lot to do with the congestion that the skin is holding. And this is a really important thing for everybody to take home, is there's this huge oil phobia in the skin industry. Um, and what's important to know is that you can't have water without oil. The two are holding hands. And if there's no oil, there's no water in the skin. So in the process that I developed, this whole sequence, what I'm 
essentially doing is on purpose creating a healing crisis because after watching it so many times and figuring out the whole sequence that the skin goes through, we can do that on purpose for everyone's skin. So this is um, the new map to the whole skin universe. And it basically highlights those four things that the skin wants because everything outside of that is pretty much just hype and a lot of confusion. And another really important point is that it's not what we eat, um, it's what we absorb. And that's why these topical bioavailable nutrients that are now available are so important because so much of what's in skincare isn't making it to the layer of the skin that needs it the most. So education, of course, is always the answer for me. I come from two school teachers. And the industry is not really going to change until people become smarter and start asking for different things on the menu. Um, it's really not going to come any other way. And, you know, every industry is going through a crisis trying to figure out where it's going. And there's a lot of room for people that are growing in the right direction. And I would love to see um, the dermal remodeling available for more people.